Today we got a yeah. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Coding with Robbie. As always, I'm your host Robbie. I make videos on Shopify development, and today we got a user request. One of you guys said, "Hey, Robbie, can you show us how to add custom fonts to Shopify?" Yes, I can. We're gonna get into it right now, but before we do, make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, here's custom fonts in Shopify. All right, so there's really two things this question could mean. One is that you have a theme and you want to add a font selector like this to it. And this uh, setting right here allows you to select from the Shopify library of custom fonts. And the second may be that you want to add a font that's not on this list. So we're going to cover both of those scenarios today. So first up, we're going to add a font picker to our theme. So just like the Dawn theme has here. And this is actually really easy to do. So I got the input settings documentation pulled up right here and I'll link it in the description. You're going to want to come here, go to specialized input settings. And then the one we're going to add is this font picker setting right here. So let's click into that and they give us some example code. So let's copy it and we can add this to our settings schema.json file. So let's go to our theme code. We'll pull up settings schema.json and it's located within the config folder. And uh, let's just add a new section up top here. So let's go name is going to be typography and this is going to have an array of settings and inside the array we'll paste that example code add a comma right there and then type is going to be font picker id can be whatever you want it to be i'll call mine body font heading uh the label can be whatever you want it to be i'll call that body font also and then for default you have to have a default value so i'm just going to leave it at helvetica Let's hit save and see what that did. So let's go back to our store and uh, let's go inside the custom theme right here. And now if we go to theme settings, you can see it added that typography setting with uh, the body font setting right in here. So now we can click into this and we can select the font. So let's go uh, this guy right here. You can change the font weight right here. I'll just leave it at regular. Let's hit select and save. And now we can connect this to our theme. So let's go inside of theme.liquid and you can see right here, I'm loading style.css and that's this file right here. And I got some variables up here, but there's no font really connected to this theme at all. So we're going to add some code in here that reads from that setting that we added. So we could do it directly in style.css if we renamed it uh, .css.liquid. But I think it's more performant to do it within theme.liquid and leave this as just a .css. So that's how uh, the Shopify themes do it. And that's how we're going to do it also. So let's go up here. We'll just add a new style tag. And then uh, we're going to load that setting and get the font face. So let's go settings dot. And then whatever the ID is, I called mine body underscore font. Settings dot body underscore font. And then we're going to add a filter here and we're going to do font underscore face. What this is going to do is load uh, the font. Basically. Let's see what that did. Uh, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to actually view the store and we'll go inspect. Let me zoom in for you guys. Let's go inside the head and find that style tag. All right. So it took me a minute to find it, but it's right here. Here's the style tag. And if we open that up, you can see it's loading the font with this font face uh, CSS right here. So now let's, um, assign some variables that we can use within that CSS file. So right down here, let's uh, go root and we'll add some CSS variables. So let's go dash dash body font. And we're going to set that equal to settings dot body font. And then we can get different properties off this body font setting. So we could go dot family for the font family. We could do dot weight. We could do dot style. And I think there's a couple others. But let's just go dot family. Now this variable is going to be equal to the font family. And then let's do one for the weight also. So let's go body font weight is equal to uh, settings.bodyfont.weight. And there we go. Now we'll have these two variables that we can use within here. So let's go right here to our body, um, our, our body selector right here. And let's go font family is going to be equal to, and we're going to use a variable, which is our body font. That looks good. And then let's also do the weight. So let's go right here. And the other variable we created was body font weight. And these two just match up to what we put inside theme.liquid. So let's try that out. Let's go back to our theme. And uh, this font should change if it's working. So I'll refresh. And there we go. We're getting that narrow font. 
So that's how you can add um, custom font settings to your theme. So now let's load a completely custom font onto this theme. So I got some font files right here and let's pretend these are not available within that font picker setting, but we want to use them on our theme. So the first thing we got to do is convert these so they're ready for the web. There's a bunch of websites that'll do this for you, but the one that I really like is transfonter.org. So you just come here, you go add fonts, then you select the fonts you want. Mine's just going to be regular. And you can do some settings down here. The one I usually tick is fix vertical metrics. And then you can go convert and it's going to give you a zip back with all the files. So let's download it. And I'll open it up. You can see we get the uh, font in two different formats and then we get some example CSS and HTML. So let's uh, copy these font files onto the desktop. And I'm going to add them to my theme. I'm going to go within the assets folder. I'm just going to drag them in. Then let's check out that example um, CSS file that they gave us. Let me open that up again and pull it up right here. Just copy this code and we'll go to our uh, theme style sheet. I'm just going to paste it at the top just like that. And then uh, the font files are going to end up in the same folder as the style sheet. So we can just go right here and let's just add dot slash. And let's copy this font family line right here and we'll add it to our body. Hit save and it should work. So let's go back to our theme. I'll go here and I'll just refresh. And there we go. It's using Oswald now. So that's how you can load um, custom fonts that you just have the files for. All right, and there you have it, custom fonts in Shopify. So I hope this video helped you. If it did, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have a topic you want me to cover, put it in the comment section below. And otherwise, just have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.